A bunch of the boys were whooping it up at the Malamute Saloon. The kid that handles the music box was hitting a jag time tune. While back of the bar in a solo game sat dangerous Dan McGrew. Watching his luck was his light of love, the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which is fifty below, into the dead in the glare there stumbled a miner fresh from the creeks, dog dirty loaded for bear. Looked like a man with a foot in a grave, scarcely the strength of a louse. Yet he tilted a poke of dust on a bar, called for drinks for the house. Well, there was none could place the stranger's face. We searched ourselves for a clue, but we drank as hell. And the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. Well, there's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. Such was he, and he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell, with a face most hair, the dreary stare of a dog whose day is done. As he watered the green stuff in his glass, the drops fell one by one. I got to figure who he was, what he'd, what he'd do, and I turned my head in there watching him was the lady that's known as Lou. Well, his eyes went rubbering around the room, seemed in a kind of a daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink, nobody up on the stool. So the stranger, he stumbled across the room, he flops down there like a fool. In a buckskin shirt, glazed with dirt, he sat, I saw him sway. Then he clutched the keys with his talon hands. My God, but that man could play. Were you ever out in the great alone when the moon was awful clear? And the icy mountains hemmed you in with the silence you most could hear. With only the howl of the timber wolf. You camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world. Clean mad for that muck called cold. While high overhead, green, yellow, and red, the north light swept in bars. You've a hunch what that music meant. Hunger, night, and the stars. Hunger not of the belly kind that's banished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for a home and all that it means. For a fireside far from the cares that are, four walls and a roof above, but oh so crammed full of cozy joy, crowned with a woman's love, a woman dearer than all the world. True as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge the lady that's known as Lou. Well, then on a sudden the music changed so soft you most could hear. But you think your life had been loaded clean of all that it once held dear. If someone had stolen a woman you loved, that her love was a devil's lie, that your guts were gone. The best for you was to crawl away and die. It was a crowning cry of a heart's despair that thrilled you through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread misere, said dangerous Dan McGrew. But well, the music almost died away. Then it burst like a pent up flood, and it seemed to say, Repay, repay. My eyes were blind with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong, and it stung like a frozen lash. And the lust awoke to kill, to kill. And the music stopped with a crash. And the stranger turned. His eyes, they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt, glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. Well, then his lips went into a kind of a grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm. Boy, says he, you don't know me. None of you care a damn. But I want to state my words is straight. I bet my poke they're true. One of you is a hound of hell. That one is Dan McGrew. I ducked my head. The lights went out. Two guns blazed in the dark. A woman screamed. Lights came up and two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head, pump full of lead, lay dangerous Dan McGrew. While well, the man from the creeks lay clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case. I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch. Well, I'm not denying it, so I'm, I'm not so wise as those lawyer guys. But strictly between us two, the woman that kissed him, and 
pitched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou.